What is up, Shib fam? What is up, YouTube? I know it's been a bit since we did any type of VOD over here or video on demand or uploaded video, and it's been a really long time since I did any truck build videos at all. Truth is, I've been doing a lot of live streams over here, and I didn't know how uploaded videos would affect the algorithm, but we're going to start that back today with the truck build. This one's cool. This one is really cool. As you can see, 389 uh, car hauler CX-11. I can't wait to show you guys how to build this thing. I can't wait to take you down the road of this thing. It's going to be a blast. Buckle up, would you? So we're going to start this truck build video the way I always do, and that's show you the options. I can't do all the options because with a truck like this, we'd be here for a really, really long time. Uh, but do me a big favor. If you haven't hit the like button on the video yet, hit the like button. It does so many good things for a small channel like ours. And I say ours because you're just as much a part of this as I am. And if you haven't hit the sub button yet, take a moment, hit the sub button. I'll wait for you. I promise. Join this amazing community. Uh, join us on our journeys. You never know where it's going to take us. So we're going to start this video right from your uh, truck dealer. So I'm in my mod uh, my mod dealers. And this Peterbilt 389 Car Hauler CX-11 combo is by Blades Mod Shop. Just go to Facebook. Search Blades Mod Shop. It's actually the new one. Don't go to the old one. The old one got compromised, I promise you. Uh, I, ordered, I bought this from the website. I had it downloaded in less than 10 minutes. Uh, this thing is really, really cool. So let's jump into the customization of it. Um, there really isn't a lot of cab options. I mean, you have the two. Uh, you have the 44 Bunk or you have the Always Holland. So the always hauling is you're always going to have cars on it. Um, and you can change those cars when we get over here to the options. Uh, and then you have your one chassis. And then you also, in the mod pack, when you get it, there is a um, open dev, fi dev file for Slav Jerry's. I don't know. A lot of people call it Slave Jerry. I think it's Slav as in Slavic. Slav Jerry. Uh, engines. I'm running the Detroit Diesel, I think it is the uh, 600 or the 515, but you can use any of those. Um, and, and all you have to do is have the Slob Cherry engines, uh, but the uh, dev file allows you to down put any of them in it. But if you know how to edit all that, you can put whatever engine you want in it. If I wanted to put my some of my Z mods in it, I could. Uh, but I used what came with it, and that was some of Slob Jerry's engines. Uh, in my case, it's the Detroit, uh, the DD60. Lots of options as far as your transmission. Of course, I think it's super smart to use the 18 uh, retarder. I have a sim shifter, so I like to run through all 18 gears. So when I have the chance to choose that for an option, especially in the newer truck, some of the older mods don't have that option. 18 speeds is the way to go. One option for interior, and I love how the steering wheel matches the paint job of the truck. I think that is super, super cool. And then you also have lots of options on the interior. Uh, interior. Let's get to those before we jump to the exterior because there's so many options. So you do have the option to change your truck right so maybe you don't want the whole steering wheel to match maybe you just want here to match you could do that uh maybe you don't want any of it to match you just want all black maybe you want all gray and uh maybe you want all yellow so or whatever as we change the color of the paint job or the paint uh that'll change too you can also change the dash maybe you want it to match the truck maybe you want some carbon fiber maybe you want some marble or some wood grain or some purple 
or some red. Uh, you have all those options. So six, seven different options for the truck. I think that is uh, pretty cool. Um, and then what else? Upper dash. Maybe you want to change the. Oh, where where is it? The top dash. Maybe you want some maroon or some orange or some purple. So you can change that as well. And then you can change your under dash. So maybe you want it matchy matchy. And then maybe you want your shifter. Maybe you want an old school. Maybe you want a grenade. Or something kind of modern, but you want you want it twisted. Or maybe you want a ball. Different colored balls. Or me, I just went with this. But very, very cool. And then all your interior stuff works as well. So I added a pillow. I added the US flag pillow. I believe. I can't remember. It's been a, it's been a couple days since I built this. Um Sun visors outside. I don't use the sun visor. You have two options for your CB. Maybe you like the American flag. Maybe you just like it basic. And then the other thing is speakers. Um, let's see here. Where is the speakers? Is it above me? I can't remember. Is that it? Oh yeah. Uh oh yeah. We could change the first car. Sorry about that. I'm I'm getting off here because you can you can change the interior. Where, where was it? You can change that. I know we can. Floor items. You can change the color of the interior. I know we can. Speakers. So there's your speakers. Uh, maybe you want blue around it. It's just the ring around the, uh, around the speaker itself. Maybe you want red. Maybe you want it to match your truck and go yellow. Sun visor. Where is that? Because I know you can change it. Um, was it down below? Was it on the door? That's your air filters. I can't remember. Anyway, you can. You can absolutely change the interior. I just don't remember where that was. You can add chops, which again, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys why I don't want to do those. Uh but anyway, you can. Trust me, you can change the uh you can change the the interior. Lots of it. Uh you also have a two-tone um Exterior uh, paint job. I didn't go with that. Uh, I just painted it a regular color. Um, I think I just went with like basic red. That's all I did. Uh, because you want to match the trailer with it. The you know, um, but you could you could match it. Uh, other than that, you just have some basic colors. I I didn't go with the custom metallic color because the trailer doesn't come with it. But I'll, I'll show you that. But uh, for now, let's just go with, like, uh, I don't know. Let's go with black, right? So there is your truck, and uh, you can change the cars. Maybe you want to change the color of the cars that are on it. Here's your first car. Maybe you want to change it to uh, camel or blue. And you can change your second car. Maybe you can't. Yep, maybe you want it yellow. Or maybe you want your third car to be silver um lots of bumpers oh my god bumpers galore there is like five eight nine of them uh i don't remember which one i went with but that one's cool i like how thick it is that one's more of a flat that one's got some you can add some lights on it now i forgot to add Cashadow walker's uh light pack i do have it i forgot to add it I ran out of time, but if you if you have Kashadow Walker's light pack, this mod comes with the Kashadow Walker def file, so uh, you can add it without any issues whatsoever, uh, which is super cool. And then, uh, yeah, lots of bumpers, lots of cool stuff. I like this one too. Anytime you got the mud flaps hanging down, I like that. But um, yeah, lots of options. Nine nine different bumper options. Not a lot as far as the grill. Um, you can like, you know, your blinkers, you can add your blinkers here. I don't think I did any of that to be completely honest. I think I just went with some Chrome headlights. Uh, I went with this. I think those are what 379 headlights. Um, but you have all sorts and then you have some extra ones. I won't get into those. 
Um, but you have some old school. Uh, I'll just there's some subjects I think I'll stay away from. You have the singles, so lots of uh, lots of cool stuff. Like I said, I went with I think these are three seventy nine looking ones. That's what I went with. Um, I there are some sun visors. I'm just not a big fan because inside it feels so claustrophobic because of the overhang. I got rid of the sun visor and the chops. I did not want any chops on it whatsoever. And then you have various mirrors as well. Uh, you can also change your um, air filters. Um, and and uh, I think there's multiple options. There's all chrome. There's chrome uh, painted with your chrome uh, brackets on it. But... Um, yeah, I think that's cool. There is a like I said, there is a light pack you could add. Uh, I don't have it. Um, I I don't I don't have it because. So there it is, holler lights. Uh, I just I forgot to I I would have had to go and downloaded it from Shadow Walker's website because I probably threw it out. Uh, but I know I have it and I can download it really quickly from there. But that is the truck. Super super cool. Fun to drive. It sounds good, and there is your, um, there's your hitch for the trailer, which we're gonna take a look at right now. So there's your CX11. There's your hitch. Looks like it's gonna match up pretty good, right? Of course it is. Uh, and then let, just paint it to match your truck. That's what I did. You don't have to, but I think it looks pretty schnazzy. And then pretty easy. Uh, maybe you want to put some warning flags on it. Maybe you don't. Maybe you want to put a chrome floor on it. Maybe you don't. Uh, I did. And then your slots for your lights. Again, if you have the Shadow Walker lights, uh, this mod pack comes with the Shadow Walker def. Uh, and then I forgot to mention this on the truck. I went with some of um, Ratro Development's wheels. They're super simple. I don't have to wait for any updates because of their simplicity. I mean, they rarely use an update. They work fine every time the game updates. Uh, Ratro Development's wheels are fantastic. They, I think there's like 10 different styles. And each style has a different color. You can paint the outside, the inside, just solid chrome. Uh, so that's what I went with. In fact, I think I went from front to back, trailer included. I think I went with the Indy. Yeah, the Indy ones. So just chrome. And then I did some exterior Goodyear tires. Again, this is part of Ratro's um, <clears throat> uh, wheel pack. So that's what I went with. But uh, very, very cool. Uh, truck and trailer. So yeah enough about it let's go drive about it there it is it is beautiful beautiful oh, i forget you can change the logo on the side like on the side of the hood you can change the badge on the grill uh the uh the color of the badge the peterbilt badge but there is the 389 379 uh cx11 car hauler this thing is super cool we don't have a full load of cars because i'll show you where we're headed we're not headed that far uh we are headed from uh junction junction city down to wichita so uh yeah maybe that dealership didn't need a full load of cars but this thing is super cool. Um, we got a couple empty spots. That's okay. Three empty spots. That's all right. But uh, enough uh, looking at it. Let's get inside this thing. And fire it up. There's that Slave Jerry. Let me go ahead and pull up my GPS here. That sl Slav Jerry. Oh, man. That Slav Jerry. DD60. I think it's a straight pipe. I don't I don't know. I think it was recorded straight away. But here we are. Let's let the dealership know we're leaving. Look at the D. Even on the mirror, the zip ties for the antenna, the coax, the rings around the speaker. How cool is that? It's so cool. And then, can you see now why I didn't put a... I didn't put a sun visor or the chops. It just feels so enclosed in here. Without, you know, with it. 
feel how much smaller this area would have felt if we would have added that on here. All right, we're going to get on the highway. I'm going to zip it, and I'm going to let you guys see the sights and sounds of Blade's 389 car hauler with the CX-11 trailer. We'll get this thing rolling down the highway. We'll get these cars delivered together. We're about to get on the highway here. I don't remember which highway this is. I think it's 25, maybe? Coming out of Junction City, Kansas. just 50 miles north of Wichita. Just about 50 miles north of Wichita. And I love everything about this truck. The interior, including the dash, the steer wheel. I love when you can add color to a steer wheel. And I love the exterior. This thing's been a lot of fun. I, I'm not going to get into uh, any of the who made it, added pieces. Like, that's for them to figure out. I support a lot of modders. A lot of modders. This is one of the best that has come out of Blades. Um, and, and, and I have them all. This, is, this has got to be one. I've never seen this much detail come out of Blades. I, I really haven't. Um, search them on Facebook. Check it out. And um, check this out. Like, this is so cool, man. If you... I mean, I don't think we've ever had a truck that had the car hauler on it. With the addition of the CX-11 trailer. Like, that's a really cool and original. And any time you can add Slav Jerry's engines, that's a good sounding truck. So it looks good. It sounds good. And if you guys know how to mess with your open dev files and change the names, I mean, you can put anything you want in it. 
but I love the fact that it came with the open dead dead file for uh, Slob Jerry stuff. I think we can slow it on down, eh? We are doing 69 and a 6. Whoa. Ooh, that guy was almost pancake. We got to get off here anyway. So I don't believe Alice Cars is too far from where we're headed or too far from where we are. Obviously, we're headed there. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we're uh, we're not we're less than a mile. Yet it's going to take us three minutes. Well, how does that work? We have negative negative miles to run after this point. You can't get any lower than zero. Uh, but that's what GPS says. It says we have a zero from this point. It's going to take us three minutes to set. See the car dealership. Alice Cars. Put our blinker on. Give them a little taste of the shake brake before we pull in. Alright, let's let dispatch know that we're here. Ask them where they want it. Collect our cash. That is, uh, stopped a little short there. That's why we're here, right? Select or get our cash. I'm going to play it safe just because I think that'll give us a better option. Uh, I don't understand why when you have, like, a low boy or you have a car hauler backing up to a wall or a loading dock. Um, that's not how those things work. But, uh, here we are. We're going to pull it up, try to get our ding -a -ling. See here. Did I make it? Uh, almost. What are we? There we are. All right. So let's set the brake, turn it off, and collect our cash. From Junction City, Kansas to Wichita, a thousand bucks. Not very good. Not a lot of cash, but it was a lot of fun. This truck's a lot of fun to drive, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, yeah. It is Blades 389 car hauler cx11 check it out i'll leave a link to their facebook page their new facebook page don't go to the old one uh in fact the new facebook page has the word new page in it so go to that one i'll leave a link in the description along with anything else you might have seen i get a lot of questions on why my clouds look like that uh sounds i'll leave a link to all that stuff and uh yeah i think we'll get back into these because i've got a bunch of new trucks got a bunch of trucks with updates We'll get back into these. Let me know if you have a truck that you'd like to see. Whether I have it or I don't have it, I'll get it just for you, just so we can check it out. Uh, but do me a favor, if you haven't hit the thumbs up yet, hit the thumbs up. It does help uh, small channels like ours. It helps videos like ours. And if you haven't hit the sub button, make sure you hit the sub button as well. Join us on our journey, because you never know where to lead us. But I'm hoping it led you to us to join us. Much love, everybody. Hope to see you on the next one. Until then, stay safe. Look after one another. Be kind to yourself. You deserve it. Much love. Peace.